The Camellias travelled to Australia by boat, and the voyage could take anywhere from three to five weeks, depending on the circumstances. On the boat, there were the Camellias and the camels themselves. When they arrived in Australia, they often built mosques to pray in. They were very important to the Camellias religion, which was most often Muslim. All the mosques were built by Camellias, and they were used every day to pray and worship in. The oldest mosque in Australia is in Mary in Adelaide. This was built in 1861 and is still standing today. Soon after the Camellias arrived, they built and lived in small colonies around Central Australia with other Camellias. These colonies would usually hold up to five Camellias and would have room to keep the camels as well. A camel's trading journey would take days if not weeks to complete. They would travel thousands of kilometres holding more than just one trading item. Often they would hold all the, their trading items and have a route of more than one person to trade with. These camels replaced horses because they were more adapted to the land, therefore they could travel further without water or without getting tired. Camellias most often traded the meat they had butchered themselves, herbs, exotic fruits and plants. Most of these things were things that were very hard for small colonies to get hold of, but was easy for the Camellias as these things were usually around their colonies. Eventually train lines came in, which started to make the Camellias less useful as a train was quicker and easier. The train line would often divide half of a town into an Afghan side on one side and an English town on the other side. Because of this, there was often racial violence mainly towards Camellias. Some of these towns that were separated would have small battles to claim the other side's land. Most often, Afghan people would lose these battles as they did not have the numbers or weapons. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.